And good evening, everyone. A total of five Tennessee Valley area basketball teams had an opportunity to play for championships and bring a blue map back to their respective schools. Speaking of the number five, Pisca's Lady Eagles were playing for their fifth straight title this morning here at the BJCC. You could tell it was state championship time for Coach Kerry Ellison because it's the only time that he pulls out that special red blazer. Pick things up in the second half. Pisca up by 11. On the fast break, KK Wilborn to Madeline Flamia for the bucket. Lady Eagles up by 13. St. Luke's with the answer, though. Chloe Gilmore from downtown, and it's good from three-point range. She led St. Luke's with 19 points. After that, Molly Hurd took over. Lipscomb commit, gets the Euro step, and scores the bucket right here. Then it's heard again, blowing by everyone for the easy bucket. Pisca led 54 to 35 after three quarters. It was more of the same in the fourth quarter. Heard with the drive to the hoop. She scores the basket and she's fouled. 25 points, 16 rebounds. She was your tourney MVP. And Pisca is bringing back their fifth straight title to Jackson County. Lady Eagles win by a final score of 74 to 54. We said years ago that, you know, we're never going to be able to get back to back. And then we got back to back, so why not three? Three happens, four, why not five? Uh, six is going to be a challenge with this graduating class. Moving over to the boys class, two-way state title game section taking on Mars Hill. Fourth quarter, Lions with the lead. Hugh Hargett misses the jumper for Mars Hill. Carson Thrasher comes up with the rebound. They swing it around. Josh Bowerman will score in the paint. He cuts into the Lions lead. But on the other end, Jacob Cooper slices through the Mars Hill defense and scores. Later on, Logan Patterson puts the game away with the bucket and one. Patterson, 36 points, 12 rebounds. He took home the class two-way state NV. Section is bringing a boys two-way title back to Jackson County. They beat Morris Hill 77 to 61. I mean, Section's a basketball community. You know, my dad won a state championship. Uh, Logan's dad won a state championship both in 69. Uh, I played on back-to-back -back Final Fours here. Um, you know, played ball with the 2003 team. You know, although several of those guys were sophomores. It's just a basketball community. You know, it's pretty special when you can take Blue Map back home to them. Our guys down the stretch have played well. We certainly didn't play our best today. Uh, congratulations to Section on a tremendous basketball season. The team with 10 seniors, 35 did a great job of, of getting in the paint. And, you know, we didn't do a good job of keeping him out. The Plainview boys tried to capture another class 3A title. They took on Winfield. Pick things up in the fourth quarter. Bears up big and adding to it. Cole Milligan gets the rock in the corner, launches the three-pointer, and it's good. Bears up by 25 at that point as my colleague James Verrett continues to call the game from the TV broadcast booth. Winfield trying to stay in it. Jabari McGee with the acrobatic layup on the other end. He led all scorers with 38 points. But Plainview responds quickly. Jonah Williams with the fast break layup. Bears are on a roll, and there will be a party in Rangeville, Alabama this weekend as Coach Robbie Coker and the Plainview Bears win another state title. They beat Winfield 77 to 60. The last seven weeks as a coach has been really easy as far as, you know, I hadn't had to coach effort. I hadn't, you know, they knew the task at hand. They knew what they were playing for. And um, we really hadn't played a great game the last couple times out. I kept telling them our best game was in front of us. And you look at those stats, uh, it, was, it, was a, it was a great game for us. Final game on Friday featured Coach Jana Killen and the Deshla girls going head-to-head -head with St. James for the 4A girls title. Lady Tigers in full control, up 15 at this point. Emma Kate Tittle backs down to the defender, steps back and connects on the fadeaway jumper. Then Reagan Rickard throws it towards the back and Tittle was there to put it in. She had 30 points on the evening. St. James trying to stay relevant in this one. Katie Brightwell drives and hits the floater in the lane, but that doesn't put a dent into Deschler's lead at all. Chloe Siegel will put the nail in the coffin. With a defender in her face, she buries the three-pointer. She finished with 20 points on the evening. After that, there were hugs galore as Deschler wins the girls' 4A state title by final of 74 to 42. Coach Killen now has seven state championships under her belt. It just, it just feels so good. I, I can't express enough how happy I am for this team. You know, not for me. I'm happy for myself, but I'm so happy for them because they deserve this. They, they put in the time, extra time. Covering the state basketball championship in Birmingham, I'm Mo Carter for Fox 54 Sports.